<laughs> yes. Power. There's no moisture on my safety goggles when using this here nose mask, so I really like it. Hi guys, and welcome back. As you can see, I have uh, rearranged the workshop a bit. Uh, the, the workbench here used to be that way. I turned it this way. This is simply for, for uh, the purposes of it being more easy to make, uh, to make videos and, and so that you can actually can see what I'm doing without my body being in the way of, of, of the video all the time. In this project, it's me trying to make a crosscut jig here on the table saw. I'm really looking forward to it, but one of the problems is that the height of my blade here is approximately two inches or five centimeters, five and a half centimeters, but that's two and one sixteenth uh, inch. And I want to be able to cut two by fours here, so it doesn't give me much. Um, much clearance there. So I've seen the designs where they use a, a base plate with tracks on them and basically I have to use design um, that are only using the push plate in the back and also maybe in the front and, and only the, the, the rails because I don't have more uh, I, don't, I only have like 1 16th of an inch here clearance. So that's the next project, maybe this week's project, I don't know. It's the first time I've used the router, so I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Maybe it will go horribly wrong, hopefully not. And as you can see, there's a bit of flex in the table, but yeah, that's a problem we'll have to tackle another day. this one by two it slots into there now I'm going to cut this to about six and a half millimeters
So I thought I'd try because this is something we used to put in the diving suits, like in the, in the zips. Instead of buying um, expensive wax for the zips, we just used uh, these candles. As always guys, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, if you didn't, give it a thumbs down, subscribe for more of my content, the next video will be me unboxing my uh, new angle grinder, and do remember to leave a comment, I will get back to you on that.